Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. Today I'll be talking about raspberry cakes. Raspberry cakes. But for you to enjoy this presentation and grab the entire knowledge around this medication, it would be nice if you can listen to my presentation on tumor lysis syndrome. Tumor lysis syndrome and glucosase phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Another presentation on GCSPDD. So if you can listen to both GCSPDD and tumor lysis syndrome published by me, and then you come to listen to raspberry case, then you will have the entire picture. Okay, with that in mind, let's go. Raspberry case is an enzyme, a recombinant rich oxidase. It could be known as Eritec or Fastatec, depending on the available brand in your jurisdiction. It could appear in form of Fastatec 1.5 mg or Eritec 1.5 mg or 7.5 mg. Uses. It's useful in aporizemia associated with malignancy, also in tumor lysis syndrome and leukemia or lymphoma. Mechanism of action is essentially that raspberry case converts uric acid to allantoin, which is an active and soluble metabolite of uric acid. The formation of uric acid is not inhibited. It only converts the already formed uric acid to allantoin, and that will make it inactive and soluble. Duration of action is essentially that the half-life is about 16 to 23 hours. And note this. Raspberry case is very expensive. Okay, dosing. It is noteworthy that raspberry case is administered by infusion for 30 minutes and never, never give raspberry case by bolus, please. So all no form of dosages of raspberry case should be given by infusion and slowly for 30 minutes. So if you are handling an adult, you can give raspberry case between 0.05 to 0.2 milligram per kilogram once daily for about one to seven days in many cases. But if you're handling high risk to more with Tendency of very high tumor lysis syndrome, you can give 0.2 mg per kilogram once daily. But if the risk is intermediate, I mean the risk of tumor lysis syndrome is intermediate, you can give 0.15 mg per kilogram once daily. But if you are dealing with a very low risk of tumor lysis syndrome, you can give 0.1 milligram per kilogram once daily. Note, you have to acid the serum uric acid level and make clinical judgment. Both the serum uric acid level and clinical judgment will detect the dosage adjustment. Let me repeat. Since we are not dealing with log of wolves, we are dealing with human beings that is dynamic, I mean, have a dynamic system. We can't just dogmatically say, okay, this is the dosage we are going to administer. So the serum uric acid level and clinical judgment will dictate the dosage adjustment. For prevention of tumor lysis syndrome, Particularly in high risk patients, you can administer raspberry case intravenously 
three milligram start. I mean, that is one dose. Or you give 0 0.2 milligram start in pediatric patients. In pediatric patients, just like in adults, all forms of administration of raspberry case must be by intravenous route or by infusion. So you can give infusion for 30 minutes, never bolus. So if you are dealing with high risk of tumor lysis syndrome in a pediatric patient, you can go for 0 0.2 milligram per kilogram once daily. If the risk of tumor lysis syndrome is intermediate, you can give 0 0.15 milligram per kilogram once daily. If the risk of tumor lysis syndrome is low, you can go for 0 0.1 milligram per kilogram once daily. What are the possible adverse reactions? Nausea, vomiting, constipation. You can be dealing with abdominal pain, rashes, headache, peripheral edema, hypophosphatemia, or hyperbilirubinemia. Still on adverse reactions, you can be dealing with increased liver ALT enzyme. Might be having sepsis, fever, pharyngeal pain, hypersensitivity, seizures, or metmoglobinemia. What are the possible contraindications? Hypersensitivity reaction history will limit the usage. So you ask the patient, have you ever been sensitive to raspberry case? If the answer is yes, then don't give it. There's likelihood of metamoglobinemia with raspberry case. And if the history is revealing that in the past that's occurred, then today we don't give it. And ask about the possibility of G6PD deficiency. If the answer is yes, which means this patient has been diagnosed with glucose 6 phosphate diadogenase deficiency, no raspberry case today. One, or as a precautions, if you are suspecting tumor lysis syndrome, please hydrate properly. Then, Raspberry case is immunogenic and can elicit an antibody response. Efficiency may be reduced with subsequent causes of therapy. To those who are in the school of cardiology and they've been dealing with myocardial infarction and thrombolytic agents, you will remember that as a medication, a thrombolytic agent called streptokinase. This is similar. It's the same problem. So, when someone has taken raspberry case in the past, there's the likelihood of efficiency dropping with subsequent administration of the same medication, just like the case is with streptokinase. So, Blood samples should remain on ice until it is analyzed. So you can take your sample and just dump it anywhere and call the lab people to come and grab it. It must be taken in a chill you know, tube and remain on ice until it is analyzed. One year will include possibility of a serious or fatal hypersensitivity, for example, anaphylaxis. Therefore, proper history to rule out that before the administration. Severe hemolysis is likely if we are unable to rule out GCSPD deficiency. And of course, it can cause metamoglobinemia. It degrades uric acid in blood samples. Therefore, it should not be left at a room temperature. You can use tubes with a print 
but must be a cold tube. And after taking the sample in a cold tube, we have to keep the sample in the ice water and acid the plasma in four hours. So you take the sample in cold tube, leave on top of ice, have the test done within four hours. So this is not the type of sample that we're going to take and put on the desk and ask the lab people to come and pick it when they feel like no. Monitoring. You have to measure the plasma rick acid level four hours after administration of raspberry case. Then every six to eight hours. So you can go ahead and measure your complete blood count and of course screen for GCSPD. Of course, you have to determine whether this patient has become hypersensitive to this medication or not, so that next time you will not administer it. With that, I've come to the end of this presentation. Raspberry case is a very expensive medication, but very helpful in handling tumor lysis syndrome in patients with cancer. Thanks for listening. Kindly remember to subscribe and share. I appreciate it.